This program is about unresolved phenomena. Whenever possible, the actual family members and police officers have participated in recreating the events. What you are about to see is not a news broadcast. On October 23rd, 2016, in a small Midwestern town, newlywed couple and aspiring actors, John and Margot Davis, met with their acting teacher for a private lesson. Their teacher is one Joni Meston former star of a TV series turned acting coach. Meston's approach was an unusual one that included method acting. Yes, okay, come on. This is exciting. Yes. Oh my God. Those two, they have such high hopes. They wanted to be actors. God. Are we? Oh. Yes! They followed that awful woman into that place, thinking she was a Hollywood big shot. This is awesome. What should have been a simple lesson about the Meisner technique or about blocking turns into a nightmare, a twisted tale of manipulation, mind control, and voodoo black magic. Come on in. Sometimes you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. John and Margot had their whole lives ahead of them. They had each other, and they had their dreams to become movie actors. A private lesson at an abandoned paint factory may have seemed strange to an average couple, but John and Margot were naive enough to believe that they were there to learn about their characters. But the nefarious teacher had other plans on her mind. Stop. Zip. Zip. Go. Uh. Zip. 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 Miss Meston was a star from Hollywood. And she was a regular on the show MIA in LA. And she had a lot of roles on the midnight shift before they got canceled. Nobody had ever met anyone as famous as Joni Meston in this small Midwestern town. So it didn't seem unusual for her to ask them to meet her at an abandoned paint factory, even with voodoo pentagrams drawn on the floor. John and Margot thought it was normal Hollywood acting techniques. In a world where you can barely find a third party service you can trust, know that you always have a safe, reliable, and trustworthy service in American Escrow. 1614 Salmonal. Don't know where your money can go, you can always trust us in American Escrow. This acting isn't the kind you're going to find in any fancy film school. I'm going to teach you how to get into the mind of another person. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Mommy, Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Chester Cheetah chewed his cheap cheese. Chester, Chester Cheetah chewed, chewed his chewy, chewy cheese. On Tara, Shongir, Huhai. On Tara, Shongir, Huhai. You're ready for your characters. You're going to play the high priest and priestess of the sacred Konzwe tribe. Is she like more a traditional priestess or is she kind of She's like... very interested in chanting properly. Chanting. Yes. I am hoping for a big win today. So, to practice, I'm gonna put this on you. A day. A day. Du Shan. Du Shan. Du Bala. Du Bala. Do it again. A day. Du Shan. Du Shan. Du Bala. Yes. A day. Du Shan. If you were an aspiring actor, you could easily find yourself in a trap like this. You think you are doing normal improv exercises, but in reality. You are the unwitting participant in ceremonial voodoo black magic rituals. We could have never have known what was about to happen. How could we? Why, why haven't you called us yet? You know we neutral. You see the sign? We're right here on the street. Come on down. Damn it. Ade Dushan Dubala. Ade Dushan Dubala. 
I told Margot that her dreams were unrealistic. There's nothing wrong with working at the grocery store and living a simple life. Something's wrong. Okay. Oh, Margot, what's, what's going on? What? Just keep chanting. You're becoming the character. I am here, Joni. Papa Legba, is that really you? Yes. You have succeeded, but you made a dire mistake. What? What did I do wrong? You brought back the panther that killed me, too. Run! They said Margot died of an animal attack. An animal attack! What have you done? Now you are truly a method actor. Margo. Margo. <laughs> when you don't know where your money can go, you can always trust us at American Escrow. Enough with these escrow commercials. No more escrow commercials. M most shows have at least Four commercial breaks. But they don't have the same commercial at every break, do they? That's the only one I can remember. Why did the Papa Negra character sound like the narrator voice? Yeah, I was doing a different voice. That was my Papa Negra voice. Well, it sounded the same to me. It was a dumb episode anyway. What else is on? How about America's Most Criminal? Yeah. I'll be John Walsh. I want to do the commercials. Yeah, yeah. More air freshener? Nah, I don't do the soft shit. Pass the paint chips. 